You're gonna love these. Oh my goodness, use this to light up your butterfly bush. Love that. <laughs> All right, Callie's gonna take it from here. Uh, I think Chef Shahir is cooking up some dinner for us. <laughs> Two, one. Party continues here in the kitchen. Welcome, I'm Callie Northhagen. Full hour of Kitchen HQ. This is our private label, HSN private label brand, proprietary based on your requests. It's the best brand, you're gonna love everything. And I'm so excited about something brand new. We just introduced this incredible cast iron nonstick last month, but it, there's more than that. There is diamond infusion. So it's a triple layer of this incredible non-stick. It's unlike anything you've ever seen in the marketplace. By the way, we even give you the silicone handles, one for the stick, one for the other helper handle, all dyed to match. And this is your fabulous red, our number one bestseller. Wanted to show you, we've got this for you in uh, teal. We've got white and we have this rose color. Boy, these are nice and heavy, uh, but we have less than 100. So if you want this pretty pink or this beautiful rose, don't wait on it. It is, of course, on sale. I shouldn't say of course, it is on sale. In fact, everything in this hour is not under $50, it's under $35. So you are watching at the right time. Then later in the show, we've got our all time, number one best selling gadget in our history at HSN, it's right here. This is the HQ Speed Drum Grater and Slicer. I mean, and by the way, there is a spiralizer too, and anything that you see in your kitchen that says Q, uh, HQ, Kitchen HQ, you're gonna be able to attach all the extra pieces. So that's what you're getting with the main unit. You're getting three drums, one for slicing, uh, one for fine grating, one for thicker grating, but it's, it literally adheres or suctions itself down to the counter, and you just kind of reel that you know cheese or the salami or anything that you want instead of having to use a knife to do all the prep and the slicing and the dicing that's the tool that you definitely want we've sold so many of those here at hsn and i do believe that one too is on sale 1995 gotta love that but we are going to get this party started with the cutest little what we're calling the little bite size bite maker here you go I love this thing. We have not a lot of these to go around, so this is gonna be a quick airing. But if you've ever been to that favorite coffee shop that we love to get, you know, want a little hit of protein when you get uh, up in the morning, you're gonna spend five bucks for just two little egg bites. Guess what? You can make six at a time. This is gonna pay for itself in no time at all. Because look, they are on sale, 19.95, lowest price we've ever done. And this is Chef Shahir Masood. Hello, my it's friend. It's so good, good to, to see you. you. I always have the best time with you in the kitchen. So fun. what a way to start, right? Right? Egg bites, little mac and cheese bites, yes. little pies. I oh my. love this little bite maker. And I do think this might be the last call in our bite maker because people have been loving them as well. Oh, look Talk at that. about little you know, jalapeno mac and cheese bites or cornbreads, these little pies. Now here's how it works. You mentioned it. You could scramble up some eggs and do little egg bites. You could do little chocolate cakes. You could do little pancakes. Yeah. And the best part is, we know, one thing we love to do here at Kitchen HQ is recipes and videos. I developed a ton of recipes. You do such a good job of that. And just go to hsn.com, Cali, and check out all the inspiration. But here I'm going to show you how I make my favorite little bites. You, you even get, get the, the cutter. little dough cutter. That's so. right. And this is just store-bought pie dough. So uh -huh. you can get store-bought pie dough, cut out the perfect rounds, and then your favorite jam. Here I've got a little strawberry How jam. Easy. Right? You can put in a little cream cheese for like a little strawberry cheesecake pie situation. What I love is that the top mm. and the bottom heat both. Exactly. So top and bottom evenly. cooks evenly and at the same time. So whether it's Simple. even some mac, or mac and cheese leftovers. Yep. I mean, there's so many things I think about little chicken pot pie little bites. Little chicken pot pie. And again, use your leftovers, like the leftover mm -hmm. rotisserie chicken. You got the cutter, cut out the perfect shape. Do a little pot pie, do a little mac and cheese. What I do with my leftover mac and cheese, I'll actually kind of combine it with some egg and breadcrumb so that it keeps its shape. And then How you can put a top on. There, there you go. go. That's it. And then it How literally. And know. all you do is close it up. Yep, that's it. And lock it. And there's an on and off button. That's it. So you're not playing with different temperatures. You're not Good messing point. around. You close it and walk close away. Close it and walk away. And I always say, Callie, don't be afraid to take a peek. As you're cooking, you could open it. Nothing bad's going to happen. If you want it a little darker, close it again. If you're doing those egg bites you talked about and you see the eggs aren't quite set, 
close it and keep going. So I no love that deal. you can do sweet, you can do savory. Yep. I love the idea of maximizing your leftovers Look and just that. kind of crisping up. Like I said, the mac and cheese. Yeah. I love chicken pod pie. That's why I suggested that. Love it. But by the way, at $19.95, these are screaming. So what a way to start the show. We will move on here shortly because they are so popular and we will love be these. stamping these sold out. I'm already being yep. told that. You can choose black or you can choose red or you can choose one of each. And I love them for gifts, actually. I like yeah. making like six mini pies and putting them, you know, in a little gift box and gifting them to teachers it's or neighbors. It's a $20 neighbors, gift. They don't need to it's know. It's awesome, right? Yeah. They don't need to know that. No, exactly. <laughs> I know. It's just one of the coolest things. I yeah. mean, whether it's the little mini pies, again, you pick what you're going to put in there, but you will love having these on yeah. hand. You know, as the summer gets closer, I don't want to be in the kitchen any longer than I have to be. This is something yeah. that you can do, even if you're making a whole plate full of, of appetizers and it's uh, unique, for a party. Right? It's unique. You yeah. don't oftentimes see miniature yeah. pies and these little bites, so exactly. Something All right, guys, that's 841-324. We will definitely let you know when every single one of those sells out, which yeah. is going to be very shortly. Um, but let's move into something. I'm so excited about this. I can't believe I wasn't here last month when we I launched know. this. We launched this. I mean, we've had cast iron from Kitchen HQ yep. nonstick for a long time, but okay. last month we introduced something brand new, and this is Ooh. super high end. It's diamond infused cast iron nonstick, seriously. Yes. And all of this being triple layered, there yeah. is nothing better in the marketplace. And I will say this, what a seal of a deal on this. This is on sale, so you've got a chance to try this at a lower price than anybody else even when we launched. And look it's a big 12 inch skillet. And I do love, yeah, look at it just gliding around. Isn't that great? We give you both of the silicone handles. Yep. So you don't even have to buy these as an extra purchase. This we've got in red, teal, white, and very yep. limited in that soft pink or rose is what we're calling it. And Callie, why cast iron? We love cast iron because we get even consistent heat. It gets hot and stays hot. This yep. is how you get the perfect sear on your steak. I mean, this crust, is what I'm talking about. This is what we call the Maillard reaction. There's not dark spots and pale spots, and it's an even, hard, beautiful sear. This, to me, is a perfect hard sear on a steak, on a pork chop, on a chicken, or, or piece of fish. But nothing ever sticks. Even my skin on chicken thigh, nothing ever sticks. Skin on meats, we're gonna do some cheese in a second, poaching eggs. Cast mm. iron is the best. However, at Kitchen HQ, we took it one step further. Let's get the best of both worlds. Ceramic nonstick and cast iron together in the same pan for the first time. So now you don't have to worry about seasoning. The That's cast right. Cast iron. I mean, I, I still have my grandmother's because it, it's sentimental to me. Yeah. But I remember it was very persnickety and it kind of rusts if you don't treat yep. it right. You don't have to do any of that with this cast iron nonstick ceramic coating and then infused with actual diamonds. Actual diamonds in the middle layer because diamonds are the hardest material on earth and you don't have to worry about your cookware or your utensils. Good point. You can go nuts because it's so strong and durable. Now check this out. I hard seared two beautiful steaks in this pan. Old school cast iron would be dirty forever. Look at this. I just wipe this out. Mm. It's as if nothing was in there. Look at that. So this is why people love our cast iron lineup, because you get the benefits of cast iron with the benefits of nonstick, but now for the first time, ceramic nonstick, three layers, the middle layer with actual diamonds, enhancing the strength, we know. it'll never rust. Exactly, and that's just gonna enhance the durability of that's it. I right. mean, you could put this on an open flame if you want it over yep. a campfire, or on a grill, you could put it in the oven uh, under broil if you would like to. And you don't have to ever worry about seasoning, nope. or fussing, or caring for it, or oiling it yep. up. By the way, if you want the rose, I'm told now we have about 80. 80 remain in that rose color. We do have teal, white is gorgeous, and we have it in the number one bestseller, yeah. red, which is number one, again, in this, in this moment. By the now, way, it's also on three flex or four, so keep in mind, this is your day to do it. If you got one in February, you want to add to your collection, do the big 12 inch. I love yeah. the size of the 12 inch. You can do everything from a paella oh, to yes. just grilling one steak yep. or two steaks at a time or all your burgers. I mean, this could replace your old quote unquote nonstick that's lost its coating. This has got three layers. It's gonna last you forever. The middle layer of diamonds. It's your new nonstick pan. It's your new cast yeah. iron pan. That 12 inches you talked about, and it's the right depth yeah. for braising, for poaching, for roasting, for broiling, for baking. Tons of recipes for that TS, Callie, I developed for this pan. And I wanna show you this. In that same first pan that I did my steaks, I'm now adding tomatoes, a little splash of red wine. Old school cast iron, you cannot cook with these kind of acidic ingredients. I was gonna say, It'll that would rust. be a nightmare and an, to old fashioned cast iron. It reacts poorly, so you have to avoid it. 
This cast iron, it's like cooking with a ceramic nonstick pan, but the even perfect heat of cast iron. Over here, what, Kelly, you're ready to cook. <laughs> Let's you're go. You're ready to cook. I love me. that there's a helper handle yes. on this side and then a long stick handle on this side, both of which will have, you get yep. the silicone you know, handles too, so you don't have to worry about adding another yep. purchase to your, your investment here because when I say investment, you're gonna have this pan probably yeah. for the rest of your life. Seriously, it's that good. And these are not light. Keep in mind, this is cast iron. It's weighty, yep. it's really impressive. So I know you'd spend a lot more any retail store you'd find it, you won't, because this is our private label brand. It is only here at HSN. Doesn't exist anywhere else. Nope. And HSN has always been on the forefront of technology. I mean, we kind of invented ceramic non-stick cookware to begin with. We did. And now to combine it with cast iron is revolutionary. All these recipes online, by the way, Kelly, so those steaks I topped with what's called a sauce American with pancetta, tomato, wine, all that good stuff. Mm. But again, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna wipe out this pan just with a towel. This is how non-stick I'm talking about. That pan, if you had guessed seared two steaks and built a wine-based sauce, you would think I was, you know, making it up. Look how clean that pan is. So when you know it's not gonna be a pain to clean, you end up reaching for the pan over and over again. 100%. This is what you want. So we, we have some animation actually yeah. that'll help you understand. We developed this specifically for the Kitchen HQ brand. Let's yeah. talk through the cast iron so details. Check this out. This is the cast iron three layers we're talking about. The mid layer, we call it a diamond enhanced ceramic nonstick because there's literal diamonds in the middle layer. It's the hardest material on earth. That means it will never rust. You can use your metal utensils. It won't, you know, misshape. It won't. Dead. By the way, we say it's heat resistant up to 500. It's actually heat resistant to over 800 degrees. Ooh. Throw it on your grill, it's now your pizza stone. Ooh. Put it under your broiler. It's indestructible, pretty much. So find me another cast iron pan that's also ceramic nonstick, that's heat resistant to over 800. This thing is meant to last you and you're gonna use it every day as yeah. your nonstick pan, as your searing pan, as your brazier, as your roaster, as your broiler. Use it for baking. Imagine grandma, why did she do her cornbread in cast iron? You get even perfect well, color. that's the beauty. Whatever you're doing. Cast iron not only heats up evenly all the way across the, the pan, all the way up the side walls, and it, yes. it keeps things warmer longer, which is yep. a very important detail I want to share because we've got this really cool tea kettle coming up in yeah. just a bit. But it's way Love more than one. a tea kettle, so I'm excited about it. Um, but yeah. Pour spots on left and right, so if yep. you're doing your cream sauce or any kind of sauce, you can yep. pour it off evenly and comfortably. This is an amazing piece. I am shocked it's here on sale. We just developed this and introduced this last month. When it comes to that extra layer, that triple that layer. It used triple to be double layer. layer, now it's triple. And our original nonstick cast iron is a longtime customer pick. People love it because they love cast iron and they've never seen Nonstick cast iron. We just decided to take it one step further. Let's go ceramic nonstick. Let's make it even harder and more durable with that diamond mid layer. Here I'm gonna do some smash burgers. By the way, this is the same pan. I did the steaks and the wine sauce in. I just wiped it out and kept going. Imagine how easy that cleanup's gonna be. Here, Callie, I've got halloumi cheese melting in my pan, not sticking. If I can make cheese dance in my pan, mm. anything, We'll be able to move without sticking. It is incredible. Over here, I've got my chicken, my chicken alla diavola, nice spicy chicken. Yummy. With roasted red peppers, some chilies, some paprika. And I want to show you this also. We were just chatting that about this off delish. camera. We also have a oh, fry wall from okay. Kitchen This Issues. is Look the at coolest this. thing. It's brand, it's world launch on this new piece. It's a splatter cool guard. Splatter guard. It's also kind of a pseudo lid. Now I can let it poach. Oh. It's heat resistant silicone, and look at that. Nothing so now is splattering now, all over my shirt. Whether you've got a glass top or any kind yep. of stove top, all the splattering that happens, especially in cast iron, because you can get That's it right. so hot, you don't have to worry about that. Plus, you can use this in the microwave, too. And so I love this in the microwave. Your, your soups from exploding or whatever you do there. I love that you can kind of press it down to collapse it. See? So it's nice and flat. You store it into your drawer easily. But you're right, when you want to heat something up in the microwave, whoever out there has heated up some soup and had it kind of splatter all over. This is how you want to do it. You're warming up your spaghetti and meatballs and it's like That's right. all over after 30 seconds. And it's large seconds. enough to cover two small bowls of soup, et cetera. It's the right size. Good point. That I think we have in both the black and red. Yeah, so it is here and it is also, oh. my gosh. $19.95 for that. That's a great extra piece on the side of your screen. Item 854-329, but back Look at those to the 12-inch cast yes. iron non-stick diamond infused. For the first time, it's here on yep. sale. So take advantage of this while you can. Last call in the rows. 
Number one bestseller is the red. Number two bestseller is the white. Yeah. And we also have it in the teal. So if you have a favorite color, grab it while you can. I'm okay. almost sad to cover my beautiful burgers because we got this hard, beautiful crust. I my know. favorite smash burger, way better than the barbecue, I think. And then over here, there's that Ooh. charred halloumi. Ooh. So I want to make salad exciting again. Even salads you can make exciting when you get color on a halloumi cheese. Look yes. at this. And even the cheese doesn't stick. It's, it's crazy. It's unbelievable how heat, how non-stick this is. I'm going to throw that piece right you know there in the middle. You know what's interesting is that, that exciting? we have a glass top stove, of course. Yeah. But it's a small little, you know, heating source yep. on the bottom. But even so, even it's still, develop, all of that heat goes all the way to the edge of this 12-inch skillet. So here's what's interesting. Oftentimes we talk about searing just meat. But I want you to consider searing, getting a Maillard reaction, that hard sear, on cheese, vegetables, breads. This is a developing flavor. This is why we cook with cast iron in every restaurant on earth because you're getting that even, consistent heat. If ever you've tried to sear something in like a steel pan and you get little spots of color, never with cast iron. Right. No, it's true. I mean, we know that because it's been around for since the beginning of time. That's right. But we just yeah. made it better. In fact, it was way back in 07 that we first introduced the ceramic nonstick here at HSN. I'm proud of that. Yeah. I'm very proud yeah. of that. And now we've got it in our private label brand, Kitchen HQ. It's a beautiful piece. Honestly, if you've searched cast iron skillets, you know they're not $32.95, and those are not the ceramic coating making your cast iron nonstick like this. And those certainly do not have another triple layer of the diamond-infused layer to make add even more durability. It is so cool. As those last pieces of halloumi get going, look at that on a bed of arugula. Mm. I'm going to show you something else there. But here's my cheeseburgers. And in a normal cast iron pan, I would never throw on cheese to melt recklessly. But look... <laughs> I'm not cooking with fear, Callie, anymore. <laughs> I'm not afraid. I got my perfect seared smash burgers. That's the same mm. pan I did my steak. The same pan I did the red wine sauce. I've done everything in the same pan, and even the melted cheese is coming right off. So we're talking about true cast iron cooking, nonstick. You can wash this with soap and water. You can throw it in your dishwasher. Old school cast iron, you gotta season Ooh. it, you gotta baby it, it kinda gets gross, not here. Isn't this a pretty color? I just wanted to give Beautiful. you last, last look at it. It's the softest, I have this in a heart-shaped um, piece. A cast iron's uh, more of a stock pot yeah. at home and it's so pretty. This color is really, really unique. Why not have something soft and feminine in your kitchen? So if you want it, we are into dozens left in this particular color, the soft rose. We have the red, we have the white, and we have the teal, but that's it. Your choices are here, and we Love are it. welcoming you to place your order, 854-797. And one more quick look at this collapsible. Check out that fry This wall. is silicone, and it's a collapsible splash guard. It's really pretty brilliant. There's nothing worse than all the grease that's there left for you to clean up yep. after you sear some steaks or make some burgers. This is gonna help prevent that from happening. And it comes with this extra the little lid. lid, so you can go ahead and if you're using this to just kind of let this, the flavors merge a little bit I more. I mean, I can now turn this into a brazier with that because it's now acting yeah. as my lid. So it's not just about preventing the spillage on your clothes, it's collapsible, but then you can also turn it into your lid. So now I'm braising that chicken or I'm braising those eggs. Delicious, easy way. Now cool. it's capturing all that steam, all those juices. If I need to check out my recipe, I can pop it open, add a little splash of wine or more stock if I need, and then close it right up. That's so really cool. So heat-resistant silicone, really, really, really smart, and you can see just enough moisture It collapses moisture into escaping. nothing. It's on the awesome. stove top, using the microwave as we using the microwave. Uh, that is world launch on that piece, 854-329. So in a little bit, towards the end of the show, yeah. we're gonna have dessert. We will welcome yes. you to join us for ice cream. Oh, I love it. Homemade, too. Homemade ice cream. Homemade, and check out this sale price on not one, but two. You get a two pack. So you choose the colors, we'll get to that in a minute, but that's, what, $17.50 a pop? And recipes that's there crazy. too. That's true. Right, and so you I can love make it you can super easy. Your sugar, yep. your lactose, whether you like it or not, you can make your own flavor. I know your kids have they really enjoyed doing it, it haven't Are you they? you kidding? Yeah. <laughs> All right, well that is coming up shortly, so don't miss a minute of our fun yep. in the kitchen with Chef Mahir's, I always call you Mahir, it's Shahir. It's close enough. I do, I do the flip-flop every time. <laughs> Thank you. You got the letters there. So it's these good. are so cool. This yep. is also the famous yes. non-stick non cast, cast iron, iron in pie pans. Yes. And I do love, we give you two. 
So here's why you want. It's two pack. It's two. Yes, it's two. It's a two pack. And that's these how are nice over, I am. That's why I had to double check because it's over half off. So why saran, why cast iron non stick for a pie pan? Cast iron wow. keeps temperatures. So it means when you're baking a pie, if ever you've had your pie shrink on you, it's not keeping its temperature. Right? Interesting. So it's perfect for baking because you want to retain the temperature of your crust so it doesn't shrink on you. That's why we initially developed it. But then we started thinking, this is still cast iron nonstick. It could be your little nonstick pan for a steak. It could be your little nonstick pan for a single egg or two eggs. Good you point. can roast the little vegetables in here, throw it in the oven, heat resistant up to 500. So you can really get creative in terms of beyond. The obvious. The obvious. <laughs> I'm gonna start searing that. Okay. But talk about a quiche, a frittata, oh, your pies, yeah. your cornbreads, even as a roasting pan, sometimes if it's just dinner for my wife and I, two pieces of salmon with some veg, that's all you've got to clean after the fact. Throw it into your oven up to 500 degrees, get the benefits of cast iron with nonstick in a kind of smaller package, which I is know. great. I'm still shocked you're getting two. You're and getting you get two. two. And the two pack, $22.95. Yep. For sure the lowest price we've ever done. Yeah. And by the way, these are the final quantities for the whole rest of the year. So get them while you can. We are very limited in the teal. We have a two pack of the teal. We have a two pack of the red. The red is gorgeous and still the number one best selling color in the kitchen. Oh, we are down to about 500 and in the feels, teal. I mean, it does feel like heirloom cookware, right? It's so the fact that there are two for 22 something is unbelievable. But it's, again, it's about the attributes of heat retention, keeping temperatures consistent and even. If you do a cornbread in here, you'll get perfect even results on the bottom, on the sides, perfect color. So think about baking your brownies, your cornbreads, your pies, your quiches, your frittatas. But again, look at that. I wow, make a nice pie, huh? Fancy. Not bad. Very fancy. Not bad. <laughs> My cobblers, by the way, can I talk about cobblers and crumbles? Think about the stickiest things. Look yeah. at the fruits bubbling away. Cleanup is easy. It's the same as my nonstick cast iron. You can see the bottom. Wow, Cheesecake, what a great point. even perfect color. Yeah. So think about just from a cleanup perspective, you're not gonna worry about things sticking and soaking. I be, um, there's a little pot pie you Ooh. can do, right? <laughs> Ooh, one of so my favorites. So it's the perfect little size. There's a little piece of salmon, enough for my wife and I, some vegetables on the bottom. I mean, that is so cool. Little lemon tart. Leave it to Kitchen HQ and yeah. you, chef, to Thank give you. us more bang for our buck. And it's ideas. not just a pie pan. Ideas. ideas. I mean, this is so much more. I mean, one piece, but you're getting two. Yeah. That you can make dinner. You can bake a quiche. You can yep. bake anything. You can sear a steak, as you're seeing here, because it is nonstick and cast iron. And cast iron. Don't be afraid of putting up those temperatures. You can shallow fry in this. If I wanted to shallow fry a couple of falafels. But again, it's baking. It's searing. It's roasting. That's I could so pop this cute. under my broiler. You can do yeah. pretty much anything in this nonstick cast iron. You get two of them. And they're great for the baker in your life, but they're also great for just day to day. I just love the look of them too. And the look. The, I know, it's really, I mean, it's just a classic in every level. By the way, if you want the teal. Look at that. We're at like 400, I think, left in the teal. These are very, very popular. You can choose yep. the red, you can choose the teal, you can choose them both. You can read reviews because when these were more than twice the price, they went on to become a customer yep. pick. They're very impressive, the heavy duty lineup. pieces. I, I think people love the whole lineup because we all know we want cast iron. We all know it's the best. Heat retention, even color for baking, for searing, for roasting. We all know that. But never before has there been cast iron that was easy to take care of. You saw me just wipe it out with a towel. So imagine if I had a little soapy water, I can even put these in the dishwasher. Oh my gosh, that's such so a good point. You couldn't do that, we know that. You could never do that. Old fashioned cast no. iron, but you can with this. It's a nonstick cast iron. It's Unlike anything you've ever tried before, unless you've already ordered from Kitchen HQ yep. here at HSN. But I think what puts this over the top, and I just said it, you don't just use this to bake your pies. No. It's an everything. It could be yep. your fry pan. It could be yep. your skillet. Granted, yep. it doesn't have a stick handle, so keep that in mind, but you Throw can it totally in use this. I use it all the time. For all Sometimes the what I'll do, I'll put two of them on a sheet tray, and I'll do my whole dinner. Just like that. And put it in the oven. And put it in the oven. Because I want the even heat of cast iron and I want the easy cleanup. I always say this. If you know it's going to be easy cleanup, you end up using the cookware. 100%. If you have a, a dreaded cleanup job in your future, you never use the cookware. So this is cast iron that you don't have to be afraid to use. Get the melted cheese going. Get the searing going. You saw how easy it was for me to wipe out. And you just kind of make your life easy. Look at this mm. beautiful steak we're searing in real time. 
It gets hot fast and it stays hot. You're getting that even color. So this is the power of cast iron, but we love it for baking do. and for roasting. It's the everything pan it's if you want it to be, pan. if you need it to. I mean, honestly, you don't have to, I mean, granted, I love yum, all yum, my cookware yum. and I've got lots of different options, but when you just can use one pan yep. for everything, that really does feel good, knowing you're spending so little, especially, it's not just buy one and get the next for half off. You're getting two of these at more than 50% off the regular price. You're getting two, whether it's the teal and this one I'm sending out final, yep. well, very, very like close the, to I selling like out red. here. I'm a red guy, I like them both. But yeah, Kelly, yeah. talk about a restaurant technique. One thing we do in restaurants okay. a lot is give something a big, big sear so you get that crust, that marred reaction, and then finish cooking it in the oven. You can do that here. True. Oven safe True. up to 500. So you can give that big, thick steak a nice sear, and I could take this whole bad boy and throw it into my oven, <laughs> right? And there's dinner, right? And give then it. after you serve it in the same thing, you can it throw could it go in oven to table. It looks if you great. wanted to. I mean, it's kind Wipe of crazy. Wipe it out, wash it out, easy to use. So I love that you're saying that. It's beyond just baking. Yes, for your cornbreads, for your brownies, for your cakes, for your pies, with great heat retention so it doesn't shrink. That's key. But it's also wonderful for those frittatas, the quiches, salmon dinners, steak dinners, even a couple eggs. I know a lot of us out there have lost the quote unquote nonstick coating on their old, oh. old nonsticks. Oh. Time to replace them. Do it now. Don't even ask where that nonstick coating went. You don't yeah, want to know. Yeah, you don't want to know. You don't want to know. I say if you don't have anything that's more up to date in terms of the nonstick, yep. throw all that stuff yep. away. Seriously, do yourself a favor yep. and do your family a favor. If it's starting to warp or peel or look weird, it's because it's, it's, it's wearing off. This will never wear off. It's That's not gonna the thing wear off. about this. I think one of the most compelling things I, I saw it. during this presentation is how you can do those those sticky like pies, and when yep. you, that bakes yep. onto a regular pan, yep. I don't think it ever comes off, and it yep. always looks like scarred. It always yeah, looks yeah, yeah, injured. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This will wipe clean. All these different recipes that I've developed on HSN.com, I've done an upside down tart to 10, sticky caramelized apples. I've done the best cinnamon buns on earth. And all these things benefit from cast iron from keeping their heat and are easy to clean. And when you see the videos that we have, even caramelized apples, Callie, when I flip them upside down, you just wipe it out. You literally awesome. wipe it out. Granted, I like to use soap, so I know it's really You can do it, <laughs> absolutely. A little soapy water, no problem. Yeah, exactly. So again, if you're just tuning in, folks, this is, your eyes are not deceiving you. You're yeah. getting not one for $22.95, you're getting two of these nine inch cast iron mm. non-stick pie pans for $22.95. This will never be done again. And I, I kid no. you not, these are the final quantities for yep. the year. When these yep. are gone, you won't see them again until next year. It doesn't, we can't turn around certain products like this very quickly. And it's a customer pick. The whole lineup is a customer pick because everyone loves cast iron. They've always just dreaded the cleanup. And now we've solved that problem. You don't get any sacrifices. You get cast iron, you get the heat retention with the easy cleanup. And I love all those recipes that we just showed. I love the crumbles because yeah. sugary apples and cherries and strawberries don't stick. So after I'm done serving it up, I don't have to soak it for two hours and scrub it. It's an easy cleanup job for sweet, for savory. You're gonna end up using it every day, just even just as your me. new nonstick pan. Just amazes me, because even yeah. if something did, you know, like, if this was not this surface on the mm. inside, you know that a pie, if you overbaked it or if it spilled over and yeah. bubbled over the edge, it would always look okay. yeah. like, oh, that's a used piece. I feel like Yum. this was always gonna look new yep. and perform like new. And there's other, listen, there's other cast iron pans and cookware out there that are enamel that kind of look nice when they come out of the box and then they discolor and they're exactly. not non-stick. This, and I cook with this lineup every day in my house. This looks that way all day, every day. For it years. It looks like that For all the time. years. So it's true cast iron. You're getting those great sears, baking, roasting, shallow frying, and it doesn't discolor. It doesn't lose its shape. It's I can't wait for you to quality. feel. It's awesome. The quality is incredible. You'll be yeah. like, wow, these are these are hefty. Yeah. These are, you can tell. I mean, there's the thickness you can see from just that vantage point. But that's the beauty right there. You don't have to treat these. You don't have to oil these. You don't have to season these. You yep. don't have to worry about these rusting like traditional old fashioned uh, non uh, cast iron. Yep. These. Well, read reviews. I mean, read a customer pick at more than twice the price that we're offering it Induction tonight. Induction friendly. Use them on your cooktop, whatever you got. Now, I'm using my Kitchen HQ utensils, but even if you have metal utensils at home, don't you're worry. Not, you're not afraid. Go nuts, right? That's 
quite an amazing thing. You're going crazy. You're not scratching. Oh you're not sticking. It's just, <laughs> it's built to last, Callie. It's real cast iron with real nonstick. Tell I me love it. really quickly, that looks really interesting. This is a little jalapeno cheddar cornbread. jalapeno cornbread. Yummy, yummy. Recipes are all up, hsn.com. These pies, quiches, frittatas, the cobblers, please check out my cinnamon buns. I got the best cinnamon buns, oh. I'm telling you. Not st and they won't stick to the cookware. You're gonna flip them right out and wipe them out, easy cleanup. Okay, we are moving on. You can see these are I'm very hungry. popular. That, I know, that looks so good. I, we are literally, I think, like 300 left if you want the teal. You're getting two for yeah. $22.95, also on three flex, so it's a little more than $7. If you want the red, it is absolutely on fire, but we don't even have a 1,000 of these. So they're here for you. Yep. When these sell out, again, they are not coming back for the rest of this year. And it's only March. Once again, the item number to order is 833634. But speaking of great utensils, I mean, you need some great gadgets and utensils in your kitchen for every task. So we wanted to share with you from Emily and Ty a quick buy with some great, it's a three-piece utensil set that I know you're gonna use all the time. Here they are, we've got the greatest buy on a tea kettle coming up next. <laughs> It, there's a hole in my spoon. Emily, why is there a hole in my spoon? It's supposed to be there, Ty. It's from Curtis Stone, and it's a stirring spoon. It actually makes it easier to stir thick sauces, oh. like stews and risotto. Oh, cool. What's this little pointy thing? So made to help you with scraping. This is part of that three-piece all-day set. So now you can stir, you can scrape, you can serve, you can mix all of that with these three pieces. Yep, and guess what? It's also made with nylon, so it doesn't scratch your pots and pans, it's yeah. heat resistant, and it keeps the handle cool. Look, the spatula has holes <gasps> in it too. Oh. Oh. So no, all of the, the juices and the fat slip through, it doesn't stick to your food. Oh. These are also super easy to clean. You can get yours by shopping the item number at hsn.com or on the app. But the quickest and fastest way to get yours is to scan that QR code on your screen. At Dial 10 Beauty, we believe in the confidence that lies within you. Every woman deserves to feel empowered, unstoppable, and unapologetically beautiful. Give me 10 minutes and I'll change the way you see yourself. The HSN deal is a great value that we bring to you every day. Thanks to our long and valued partnerships with the brands you love most, we are able to offer amazing products at great values. Shop the HSN deal with confidence from us to you. out you guys first of all what a beautiful awesome. tea kettle yeah. just sitting out on your countertop or your stove top or anywhere in your kitchen we have it in teal or in red but this has been really we were inspired by a very mm -hmm. expensive there's a french brand out there that their tea kettles i mean they're over 200 dollars crazy uh, i can't imagine spending that much money on a tea kettle but some people do you don't have to, because what we did at HSN and with our private label brand, Kitchen HQ, we made pretty much the same product, and it's only $34.95, especially today it's on sale. Normally they're 50, still a great price compared to the options out there in retail. So again, yep. gorgeous red and the teal. And I think you saw, Chef, look at this. Yeah, the tea There's infuser. a cute little tea infuser that attaches to the top of the lid if you want to keep it in because it's yes for tea, for hot water, but there's yep. so much more you can do with this. So much more. And I know that fancy French brand. It's all about cast iron and enamel. And yep. why do you want enamel for something like a tea kettle? It gives it that beautiful shine so it looks wonderful just sitting Gorgeous. on your table. But also, because it's enamel cast iron, it stays hot, keeps whatever's in there nice and warm for a long, long time, but it also doesn't take on any odors. So for example, if I'm doing an herbal tea and I pour it, wonderful. I can switch then to a berry tea and it won't taste like the herbal tea. But also what it does, I can use it, as I'm gonna show you, to keep my gravy hot or to do a chocolate fondue or to do a cheese fondue. Ooh. And because it's enamel cast iron, it doesn't absorb those odors, those colors. So you wash it out and use it over and over again. What a clever design. Look, Look at, at that. how that lid, and then yeah. once you put that down, so in this there becomes the some pour spout. ginger, some lemon. So you're doing your own little teas, put it in there, little water, bring it up to temperature. And because it's that enamel cast iron, it's gonna stay hot for a long, long, long time. Great idea for like things like gravy. There's nothing yes. worse than gravy. It congeals in like five minutes. But There's yeah. that tea. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Let it infuse, right? I love that red. 
That is a gorgeous, like a more of a burgundy blue based red. Look I mean, at that. Ooh. And you're yeah. right, Callie, when we were talking about the pie pans and the 12 inch, you know, with our cast iron lineup, it's almost like I want you to feel it. I want you to feel how heirloom quality this really feels. This doesn't just look like the fancy French version. I mean, it really feels. It, you'll like be very impressed. That. It, it is a hefty you know? piece. It really is. Yeah. So once again, yours is here. Uh, the greater is coming up. A lot of you are like, wait, I thought you were going to be featuring. We are that all-time yep. number one best-selling gadget yep. in our history at HSN, not even just within the kit Kitchen HQ brand. That's coming up shortly. But take a look at this beautiful piece. I mean, it's it's gorgeous. It's cast iron, it's enamel. On yep. the inside, it's absolutely beautiful. I mean, even if you wanted to put some potpourri inside of this beautiful. little tea yeah. infuser to let the, the, the smells kind of permeate around your yep. home. Gorgeous. Now, where did, did you say something about fondue? I got a little fondue for you here, mm. my friend. Now, by the way, let's pretend you made a very floral potpourri in there. Because it's enamel coated, you would wash it out with soap and water and go right into your chocolate fondue. No and your chocolate fondue flavors. is not gonna taste like chocolate. grandma's house, right? Yeah. Chocolate. <laughs> Beautiful chocolate fondue. Why do I want to have that on my table? One, it looks great. Two, it's enamel cast iron, so the chocolate won't congeal. It'll stay liquidy for a long, long time. So you can leave it and serve it and enjoy it. Do it with chocolate fondue, do it with cheese fondue. Callie, I've been saying this for now a year. I want to bring fondue back. I'm bringing I'm, it back from the 80s. I love fondue. I love it, it fondue. It so brings me back to right? memories of my childhood with my mom. She, we always did fondue. It was now, such a it, fun thing for families. But here's the thing. If I did that in a normal pot, the chocolate would congeal in about two minutes. Mm -hmm. And now you're like, mm -hmm. I gotta go back to the heat, come mm -hmm. back, go back to the heat. Here, because it's enamel cast iron, will stay hot. So you don't even have to have an electric one. You don't have to, you know, exactly. be near an, an outlet. So I'm, we do encourage you, check it out. If you wanna do a little search, Prove us wrong. You're not going to find anything like this yep. for this quality. What you're going to find, and there's a couple brands out yep. there. One in particular, it's a French brand. It starts with an S. Um, you're going to see it's over 200 bucks, 220, 230. That's pretty crazy to me. But this is, I think, yep. a very competitive, similar, almost spot-on, com co you know, absolutely, com companion and it feels great. As we head into Easter, by the way, it's not that far away, this should be your gravy boat. I want you to put mm -hmm. your gravy in this, mm -hmm. put it on your table, and your gravy won't congeal. Nothing worse than clunky gravy. Ugh. It's for gravy, fondue, your teas, water, everything. 1.3 quart capacity yep. on this too. So both the red and the teal are here. It's 833-645. Oh, Let's go ahead. All right, time has come. Where are we going? Shall we? Right here. We're grading. We are. We are grading. Yes. I am so happy. This is, yep. it feels like it's been forever since it's been here. But it is here. It's our best-selling kitchen tool ever. ever. And we have sold, like, I don't even know how many, hundreds of thousands of them. I think we, it's almost half a million. Oh, oh well, there you go. There you go. And look at all the colors we have. Yep. Yay, we've got red, we've got black, gray, white, blue, and teal. And you're getting three of those stainless steel drums. And yep. the drums, which are fun and interchangeable, give you the fine grating, the, the coarse grating, and of course you can do all of the slicing here as well, yes. like you're seeing Chef do right now. So, let's talk slicing. We love the speed grater because it replaces a few things. The first thing it replaces is that scary mandolin where everyone's afraid to use it and your fingers get in the way. Look at the perfect slices I have of carrots or of cucumbers, and I'll show you potatoes in a second for homemade potato chips. This replaces a mandolin that people are petrified to use, and rightfully so. <laughs> My fingers are nowhere near nope. the blade. Well, it's got a pusher, too. And so. you get the pusher. Yeah. So if you do get near the blade, you push down mm -hmm. and look. Oh. Perfect, even slices. This was one of the first things I ever made on the network. I did these potatoes. By the way, when you get even perfect slices like that, you can actually make potato chips in your microwave. Good point. True story. You can also put them in your oven and kind of dehydrate them. So you want mm. even slices, not just for looks, for even cooking, for different applications. And that replaces a petrifying mandolin, <laughs> right? They are petrifying. They are petrifying. I mean, most of us have war wounds from trying to do this, either, yeah. even with a knife. There's no way you can get the consistency you, of slice. The same, you know, depth or, or the, you know, the, what do you call it? The, the, the same thickness or thickness. thickness. Now look Thank at this. You. That's the word I was even looking for. Even things like it mushrooms, me. radishes, with a knife would take forever. Let's say I want to do a quick salad. I'm just throwing in radishes and slicing them nice and evenly, perfectly evenly. Your radishes, your cucumbers, your carrots. That's the slicer attachment, but this is why people love it. It also comes with the two other attachments. So you three the, in, to in total. You get three in total. Mm -hmm. So we've replaced the scary mandolin. Now we've got a large grater and a small grater. I'm gonna move on over here. Let me show you, let's do the small grater. And I'm gonna show you my cheese. Oops, now here's how it works by the way. So you oh, put yeah, it down. Oh yeah, this is a key piece. This is a key piece, nothing to plug in. You 
twist it so it suctions onto your counter, and that's it. Now it's not gonna move. Then you take your cheese, or your fruit, or your meat, or whatever you're doing, and look at this cheese in the fine grater. This is real parm. You're not store buying your parm anymore. And look at the even, perfect results. I'm it's gonna move this so out of the way. It's just so much better when you buy it Way like this better. instead of pre-shredded. It's just, it's so full of fillers. It's You don't so know better. what they put in there to keep it you know, preserved. But what I love is you're gonna go from a hard cheese, like a Reggiano, to yeah, a soft you can cheese, do a soft like a cheese. buffalo mozzarella. Boom, look at that. And you take your pusher, oh. and now this is replacing that small handheld grater where your fingers are getting mm -hmm. in the way. And I love it because this. you're not buying pre-grated cheese. You're also not wasting anything. You can see mm. all my cheese mm -hmm. is gone. Mm. So with a normal grater, your fingers are in the way and you get worried and you lose half your product. Here, you're not buying pre-grated cheese and you're not wasting anything. I thought anything you were going to say and you lose half your finger. You could. Uh, that's why, listen, I went to culinary school. I saw some stuff, Callie. So you don't want to lose a digit, and you don't want to lose half your food either. You know? No, no it's true. Now, here's and how this it works. is also, I feel Go. like, these are the things that you want. Well, we. I, I, I should say, I think I resist making certain recipes because it's always about the prep that's yes. so time consuming yep. and like, no, I'm just gonna forget it. I'll do something else that's yep. just a little easier. You can see how quickly, it's like a hot knife going through butter no matter what it is you're Absolutely. putting through this. Now you can see this is how easy it is to switch out those blades. We did the slicer, we did the fine grater. I just popped out that fine grater. Boom, this is ready for the dishwasher now. Now I'll get into that large grater. This is replacing the box grater. Yeah. Right? Yeah. The knuckle buster where your <laughs> fingers are in the way and you lose, again, half of whatever you're trying to grate. So easy I, to interchange those. You just interchange it like that. You I unscrew twist the, on the handle, lid, yep. And get the handle, there you go. Now I'm gonna go with my cheddar cheese. The amount of cheddar cheese I go through in my household is actually frightening, <laughs> right? But here's what I'll do. I'll start my week off by buying a big block of cheddar. I don't pay for it pre-ground and I do it myself. What a smart way to go. Start the week off this way, have That's it all right. prepped so you can have make your pizzas prepped. and make your mac and cheeses or and whatever. And then you get your presser here if you want, just to finish off the job and nothing is wasted. Now if ever you've grated cheese with a box grater, you know that half of it gets wasted because your fingers get in the way and you don't want to lose your fingers. But that is replacing the big old school box grater and this is why almost half a million people said, yeah. wait a second, I want this for the box yeah. grater, for the handheld grater, for the mandolin. Replacing. One of the upgrades that over the years, you know, we keep improving everything, but I love that this is the little collar that you'll just use to suction it down to your countertop so yeah. it doesn't go skidding along the way. That way it gives you full control. These are the colors that we have available, black, gray, white, ivory, or white. Yeah. We have the blue, the red, and the teal. Everybody gets the three of the stainless steel little drums. So you get all of the attachments that you're seeing Chef yeah. use right now. We do have a spiralizer that is available and goes to the Kitchen HQ. Yeah. So all the other attachments from this brand Brand will work with the speed grader just giving you a heads up so it is on sale just now back in stock and if you wanted to get this even a little bit more affordably you should maybe apply for our HSN card because we're gonna put ten dollars yep. in your account you can put this towards anything you'd like this would make it a ten dollar purchase versus like normally it's 25 yep. uh, but yeah this is the time to do it I think I saw like 4600 gone already they disappear off of our shelves faster than you can imagine yeah best-selling gadget in Ever. our history at HSN. So it also replaces an old school food processor. One thing I love to do in my house is take these cheddar crackers and make them a kind of bread coating for chicken cutlets or even in my meatballs. You know, instead I've of, never tried that, but I really think that sounds good. It's just about adding layers of flavor. Yeah. And here's the thing, instead of lugging out my big heavy food processor, I've always got my trusty speed grater living on my counter and I get even bread crumbs, even cracker crumbs, whatever I need done quick. And it goes back to what I said earlier. If you dread the cleanup or you dread using or lugging out the big food yeah, processor, yeah. you don't end up reaching for it. And then you don't end up using your imagination and trying new recipes. If you have the right tools in the kitchen, you say, you know what? I could try now doing these cheddar breadcrumbs in my meatballs. Or, I mean, look at it. Look, it's it just actually comes out. fun to do this. Right? It's actually fun. You don't dread the cleanup. There's no sharp things to clean or get your fingers in the way. Everything disassembles. It goes into the dishwasher. The handle comes off. The blade comes off and then you can and interchange. Here, in fact, this is showing you exactly how to put it together. Easy. It's so easy. Those individual drums go yep. in, you attach that handle and you just screw that back on and away you go. Whether it's the fine grater, the, the, the larger grater or the slicing grater because we give you all three. I don't know if you heard me just say that, but I wanted to remind yeah. you. The only thing you may want to add to this purchase is the spiralizer, which we'll demo here in just a minute. I'll show if you, you want to make your I love the zucchini, you know, noodles and those types of things it attaches right to the base that you're watching right there. Yeah. In fact, we've got one out here. We'll show that to you live. 
But look at how cool. I mean, look at how cool. And, you know, we've come out with different versions and different patterns of the speed grader. But once you get the speed grader, you get addicted to it. I now, know. you mentioned the spiralizer. This attachment works on any Kitchen HQ speed grader you have, whether it's an older version or a newer Here's version. Here's the spiralizer. Here's the spiralizer. I've got some zucchini now locked in. And check it out. We're going to make these beautiful what? zucchini noodles. You don't have to buy these things, and I don't want you to buy these things. I make sweet potato noodles, I make zucchini noodles. Sometimes you'll see these pre-done in the grocery store, and you have to pay gosh knows how much. I love kind of carrot noodles, spiralized carrots for my salads, and watch what happens. Once I get to the end, it comes right out. You lose the core of that zucchini, so you don't have to de-seed anything. It's like a magic trick, and boom. And that zucchini noodles done. Spiralizer is also on sale, 1995. It's so 8 cool. 3 3 7 2 9, 8 3 3 7 2 9. That's something. And by the way, there's also a speed grader drum storage set that comes with a couple of discs uh, available for you on sale yes. as well. So the spiralizer, as you just saw, uh, the chef demo, demo. There you go. There Pops it is. Pops right out just like you would your normal speed grader. So even if you do have an existing speed grader, it's a great attachment. And that drum holder that you described yeah. comes with a couple different shapes. There's a crinkle cut shape. So you oh, can make right. crinkle cut potato chips, crinkle cut uh, sweet potato chips. I love that that's crinkle That's so cutter. fun. Yeah. All Bread and butter extras. pickles. Yeah. Mm, now we're talking. That's how it works. So easy to go. All of it is available, but let's get back to this speed grader. Because yes. like, I mean, we, it's, it's insane how we yep. put this up on the air, even if it's not on the air, yeah. on our website. It's just like, oh, wait, we just had them back, but now they're gone, yep. especially colors. So knowing we have all these colors in stock, red being number one bestseller again, teal, blue, white, gray, black. These are two of the three uh, drums that you're getting, but there's a third one that's already inside. So you're gonna get all three of those. And like I said, it is on sale. Do it while the price is better than it's ever yeah. been before, 776951. And again, super easy. You see, once you get it suctioned onto your work surface, it doesn't move, there's nothing to plug in, nothing heavy, and all you do, uh, unscrew that handle, and you're now switching out those different blades. You get the slicer, the large grater, and the small grater. We are replacing the scary mandolin, the box grater where you lose half your knuckle and half your food, oh. and that little oh. handheld grater for cheese and et cetera. Here you're gonna do it, countertop, easy. I'll get back to the slicer. I love quick salads, just quick salads. Little cucumber radish salad, right? You're a little olive oil and lemon juice away, and you now have a yeah. fresh salad, and you don't have to buy it pre-done. Cucumbers are so good for you too. So good, and especially the skin. That's where most yeah. of the you know, nutrients, nutrients really are, and all of the things that we eat. Uh, but you know, eating fresh and eating clean yeah. is so much easier when you can do the prep. I love your suggestion. Maybe it's on a Sunday. Maybe it's yeah. on a Monday. Whatever your do maybe a day prep. off. Do some of the prep, and that way it's ready to grab and go. Look at that. I love Even the slices, slices for potato chips and veggie chips specifically. Beet chips, sweet potato chips. And the key to making a chip like that at home is even cuts. You don't want one thick and one thin. You want them nice and even. And here's how I do it, Callie. I'll either do my potato chips, believe it or not, in the microwave, or I'll put these root vegetable chips in my oven at a super low oven and let them dehydrate and get crispy. And I oftentimes find that people buy healthy veggie chips thinking that they're quote unquote healthy. And really they're just kind of cooked in the same amount of fat as a normal potato chip, right? Mm. So if you want to have a healthy kind of treat, this is a great way to do it because you get even slices, do sweet potato chips, beet chips, zucchini slices, all these great things, you know, cook those even potato slices, perfect. So it's here for you. You're welcome to get a couple if you want to share yeah. the, the love with somebody else that you lo know loves cooking. Yeah. And you know, this tool has helped you out a lot. Feel free to get more than, more than one. Yeah. Seven, seven, six, nine, five, one. I have to remind you of those incredible pie pans. I still can't get love over them. It's more than 50% off over a thousand just went out of our door. Wow. Wow. That's three quarters of the quantities that we even have. And don't forget when these sell out, this is it for the year. So get them while you can. I believe we still have a few of those teal and you're getting two, keep in mind, or you can choose the red, you're getting two. So do it again before they sell out and you're gonna have to wait over a year and spend more than twice the price. Oh, 150 left in the teal, that's it. So there you go. That's the two pack uh, of the cast iron non-stick pie pans, item H33634. Oh my gosh, is it time for dessert? It's time. Yay. This could be my favorite part. We saved the best for last, Cal. Oh my gosh. Tell me well, eat some ice cream. I <laughs> have these. I bought these two, yeah. I think it was two years ago. Yeah. 
absolutely love them. I like the idea that I don't want, because I don't like sugar. You've heard me say this yep. all the time. I think it's one of the world's biggest evils. You can yep. use sugar as substitutes. Yep. You can use just frozen fr you know, fruits. You don't have to use the regular dairy if you are you know have issues there. My son is vegan, so I'm always looking for alternatives well, you to you know provide him with options. And you can add your protein powders if you want to make it super healthy. Ooh. You can make any flavor you want anytime. Now, keep in mind, this isn't just on sale at $34.95. For a, an ice cream maker. It's for two ice cream makers. You just choose, do you want the red and black? Yep. Do you want the white and white? Or do you want the mint? So that's it. The coolest part is that you keep the canisters in your freezer, so Absolutely. you are always ready to go. Yep. You leave them in your freezer. I think it's the great, perfect size for that in terms of not just portion control, but real estate in your freezer. And what you just saw me do, Callie, was make vanilla ice cream. And I think a lot of people out there who've never made homemade ice cream, they say, ah, I never made that before. Ah, I can't make ice cream. <laughs> you can. I literally combine cream, a little bit of milk, that makes it a gelato, less fat, some sugar and vanilla, into my ice cream maker. And this is the beauty of making ice cream. You can make gelato, ice cream, lactose-free ice cream, vegan ice cream for your son if mm -hmm. you want to use coconut milk. Mm -hmm. You can make sorbets. You milk, can control your sugar. Milk. Monk fruit, you know, oh. instead of, So you can use sugar substitutes. You are in control, but it's not just that. It's also about controlling the experience, having fun. It's true. Right? And you do nothing. You do nothing. I remember as a little girl, we used to like crank yeah, the yeah, yeah. And dry ice, <laughs> yeah. and it was like three hours later, no. like I'm not even in the mood for ice cream anymore. <laughs> it's churning by itself. Yeah. You make your base. That was a simple ice cream base. You can literally make it three ingredients, sugar, cream, vanilla, or you can go with some milk. And then after that, over here, I've got some gelatos, some sorbets. This is some of the vanilla ice cream. Whoop. That's already done. And all you do is let it churn for about 20 minutes. This is a French vanilla Ooh, that, that I did. Looks, look at this. Hello. I got gotcha. you. Now, this is the funny part when we do these demos. I never even get around to plating them because we just end up eating all the ice cream. <laughs> but I, I love to show off the consistency because it's not icy. It's that not crystallized. Incredible. Look at how smooth it is. Yeah. Right? There's no preservatives. If you flip around your favorite store about ice cream, you will see 19 ingredients of preservatives and gums and guar-guar gums it's, it's, and God knows what else. I, you are so right. Mm. It's horrifying to look mm. at that ingredient deck. Mm. It, isn't it good? Oh, man. So tell me what you put in here first. Mm. Okay, he's eating a lot. A little French vanilla, okay. real vanilla bean, cream, sugar, that's it. All these recipes also Heaven. I developed, you will get online. Check them out. Heaven on you, earth right there. When you open up that ice cream maker, you will start making ice cream right away. It's sorbets, so gelatos, fun. All I, mean, stuff. I know you had a really successful big um, birthday party yeah. for your son and all his friends, and everybody got to make their own flavor, right? And, and this is this is it. When my son turned five, we lined up four. Thank you. Sorry, I'm hugging the ice cream. We oh. we we lined. Oh. Oh. There it went. I'll there we go. Here. Now we're getting no greedy. Worries. Now we're getting greedy. It didn't even happen at the five-year-old birthday party, Callie. We're worse than five-year-olds. The kids were excited because why? They're making their own flavors. They're making their own toppings. Kids their were coming sprinkles. up with names for their flavors. It was so much fun. I love it. And think about that for a birthday party or for an outing or for your kids, your grandkids. But it's also about controlling your sugar, your lactose, your fat and having all those recipes at And I disposal. like this size. I mean, yes. honestly, you could sit down and eat the whole thing. It's yeah. like a full pint, right? Exactly. <laughs> Think about you how could. expensive the ice creams are in the in the markets. Honestly, who knows how long they've been in a shelf and all of that. Oh, that one looks, is I'm that I'm not going to fight you now. I'm not going to fight you. Oh, you you're see? so good. That's a mango sorbet. Here's what I love about doing a sorbet. Mm. No added sugar. I'm telling you. I didn't that, add any sugar to that. Really? That's just the fruit pureed with a little bit of liquid. Now with my sorbets, mm. I love to put some lime zest, wow. some lemon zest to really brighten them up, and then you churn them. No sugar there, right? So take Amazing. your, and look, I just wanna show you guys, guys, if you can get that shot. Look at how smooth this is. Nothing is crystallized, nothing is hard. It's totally smooth, it's almost like soft serve, it's so good. And imagine oh. your favorite frozen fruit, pineapple, strawberry, blueberry. Take your frozen fruit from the fruit, uh, frozen aisle, puree it up, and churn it. That is the best sorbet you're ever gonna have. You know what else? I always take my mm. bananas when they get overripe instead of always making banana bread. Uh -huh. I mean, freeze them, mm. you know, puree it, mash yes. them up once they're, you know, frozen. I'm telling you, it's, it's such a, <laughs> you'll be hooked on this. I have had more fun with mine. I've had mine a couple years. Uh, Wanted to give you an update here. I know we're 700 or so or 800 gone. There's, I, I misspoke on the color options. There's black and white. Yum. There's red and white or there's mint and white. So those Beautiful. are your color choices. I know one of them is selling really, they're all getting limited, oh boy. These are just back in stock and just in time for summer yeah. fun. Honestly, just in time for summer fun. 
That mango The sorbet mango is unbelievable. Was so good. I got a raspberry lime working, but I want to show you gelato raspberry as well. Lime. Now check this yeah. out. In here, I've got my chocolate gelato. So you remember in here turning, mm. I've got my basic vanilla. It's just cream, vanilla, a little bit of sugar. All I added to that base mm. was some cocoa powder. Next thing you know, I've got chocolate. And look at how smooth and mm. soft and beautiful. Wow. Again, it's stunning ice cream. It's not hard, it's not crystallized. It's not, you know, it's not that any is... worse than store-bought. It's actually better. It is smooth and soft and creamy. Wow. And at this point, you now add your caramel sauce or your chocolate sauce or your toppings. Let it churn and mix in there. And that's the fun that the kids and grandkids always have because they can get creative. I always like to go to, like, my bulk food store and line up a little buffet of toppings and nuts and sauces and see everyone make their own flavor. I mean, it's just it's a party best. waiting to happen. Whether mm. it's kids or it's adults, I mean, this brings out mm. the best in all of us. We all love ice cream. I mean, like my love guy, it. Tracy used to love his ice cream. Yeah. I don't know what's happened, but all of a sudden he's like lactose intolerant. Yep. He just can't eat it anymore without yep. getting a little upset. Yeah. So now even he is using some of the alternatives that are out there, and there's a lot of alternatives. And you can use coconut milk, you know, soy, etc. Yeah. And this is the joy of doing your ice creams at home. It's not just about ice cream. It's about making it a gelato, or making it a frozen yogurt, or making it a sorbet. A sorbet. Controlling the amount of sugar. Callie, you mm -hmm. say you don't want to eat too much sugar. You can use different sweeteners. Over there, I've got a green tea ice cream. Ooh. All that from the same vanilla base. If you add one other ingredient, you got a new flavor of ice cream. I can make cinnamon ice cream by adding cinnamon mm. to that. Mm. I can make, you know, uh, my favorite cereal ice cream, crushing up my favorite cereal That's bits a great in idea. your ice cream for other textures. So th the options are limitless. Now here's another sorbet for you. You said raspberry or strawberry lime? There's a little bit of raspberry and I put some lime zest in there. Ooh. And I love finding different ways to add flavors. And again, look how smooth. It's not crystallized, it's not hard. It's crazy good. Isn't that good? Look how smooth that is. Wow. Take your favorite frozen fruit, puree it with a little bit of liquid. You could add a little bit of sugar if you like. There's nothing wrong with that. You can also sweeten it mm. naturally with honey or maple, which I love to do. Mm. And then get creative with that lime zest. So delicious. That is so good. I've right? never, have you ever tried strawberry lime? I mean, you mm. can create your own Whatever your favorite flavors are, combine them, try things, and experiment. That is good, right? Come summertime, you could put that in a martini glass. <laughs> right? Yeah, I know, I know I'm talking to you. <laughs> you can make a little cocktail with a frozen kind of fru fruit mm. base. Mm. I'm thinking. Right? These are so extremely good. popular, just back in stock. And you will not find $17.50 per ice maker. Per. Look anywhere. You're yeah. not going to find this price. Well, you're not going to find this product because it's exclusive to HSN. And it's so brilliant. It's I just, I have enjoyed mine so much. And now you just reminded me of some really th neat things I want to try this spring and summer. Absolutely. And it's about getting interactive. You know, you could yeah. take your family of four out to the ice cream parlor and spend more than 17 bucks. So doing it at home, Getting them that hands-on experience, and again, controlling your sweetness, controlling your lactose, controlling the amount yeah. of fat, making frozen yogurt, making gelatos, doing a vegan version for your son. It's been so great. I mean, Absolutely. honestly, there's so many people who have different issues and yeah. within the same family. Yeah. So now you can make your yeah. favorite, and they can make their favorite, and again, on and on and on. All yeah. you do is you take this base, you just keep this in yeah. the freezer. This is the whole pack. Well, I'll show you right Le here. Let's leave see. it in your freezer so that it can churn properly. And the size is awesome because it doesn't take up too much real estate in your it freezer. Doesn't. And actually what I'll do is I'll put my I'm, bag of frozen peas in there. Me too, right? me too, that's yeah. what I do. This is what you keep in the freezer. This is the paddle that you put on top. This is the motor. You turn a button on yep. and you walk away 20 minutes later. You've got your favorite version of gelato, uh, sorbet, ice cream, and you frozen name it. Yogurt. Frozen yogurt. The options are limitless and all those recipes come with it that I've developed for the machine. Lucky family, I know. Seriously. <laughs> Lucky kids, I got to develop a bunch of ice cream flavors. They loved it. <laughs> but I want to show audiences how easy it is because yeah. ice cream is one of those things that, of course, everyone's used to enjoying and going to the ice cream parlor, but maybe they've never made it home. That's why I love to start this demo right at the top of showing vanilla ice cream 101. It's just vanilla, sugar, and a, little van and, and a little bit of cream. Now, if I go half cream, half milk, that's gelato. Now that's my vanilla base. And from that base, I can make chocolate ice cream with cocoa powder. I can make cinnamon ice cream. I could use my favorite cereal or nuts or chocolate syrup. Make a Rocky Road ice cream or gelato or frozen yogurt. It's that easy once you figure out, oh, wait a second, making ice cream isn't rocket science. Over here at the end, I've got a pistachio ice cream, one of my favorites. And you're gonna notice, again, 
totally smooth, big chunks of pistachio. And unlike store-bought pistachio ice cream, it's not fluorescent green because it's real food. It's not fake colors or fake preservatives or weird things. This is real, that vanilla base with chopped up beautiful Sicilian pistachios. This is what you want your ice cream experience to be. And to line up a few of them and make it an event is way more fun than just going down to the ice cream parlor and paying for it. Get interactive, get creative. I want you to get these bulk ingredients like the, the candies and the berries and the sauces and let everyone go nuts in terms of making their own flavors. And it's about not just experience, controlling your sweetness levels, controlling your fat, controlling your lactose. You can go vegan. You can do anything in terms of ice creams, frozen yogurts, gelatos, sorbets with no added sugar. The, the options are limitless, and once you taste homemade ice cream, noticing that they're not crystallized, not hard, they're smooth and delicious, I mean, you don't go back. Oh my gosh, I'm so jealous.